welcome to this tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at 3D solids and using 3D uh, primitives to create a bike rack. And we're going to use the slab solid, cylinder solid, and torus solid to create a 3D bike rack. So I'm going to begin by using the slab solid and checking my tool settings here. I'm going to use AccuDraw quite a bit uh, when placing these 3D solids. So I'm going to use AccuDraw to define the axes of the slab that I'm placing. I want to make sure it's set to ortho. And the checkboxes here, we can toggle these on if we want to be able to define lengths, widths, and heights. But again, I'm going to use AccuDraw to help me fill all that information in. Now I want to start at 0, 0. So I want to use the uh, AccuDraw shortcut key, the letter P, for place data point. And then using the uh, absolute x, y equals, then all I have to do is type in 0, 0, 0, and hit Enter. And that starts placing the line or the slab at 0, 0 coordinate. Now my compass has rotated my view. My view rotation right now is isometric. And what I want to do is lay my compass back down to a top rotation. So I type in T for top. And you'll notice how the compass then rotates in or lays flat in the design file. Now what I want to do is the uh, length of this bike rack is going to be 9 feet. And then I'm going to left click to accept that value. Then I'm going to nudge my cursor over and I want to make the, uh, the width of the bike rack to be 0 0.2. And then the height of the bike rack is going to be 0.15. And then I'm going to left click to accept that. So I've got the uh, first rail of my bike rack drawn. And then what I want to do is just simply copy this over. So I'm going to use the uh, copy command to take this bike rack from its center and then copy it over. Again, I'm using AccuDraw to help me keep everything in plane. Over one foot, left click to accept that. Now I'm going to change my uh, display settings here a little bit. Maybe brighten it up and set it to uh, transparent with shadows so you can see a little bit better what's going on. And what I need to draw next is going to be the cylinders. So the, uh, the cylinders of the bike rack. Now I'm going to draw one on the uh, far side here, and I want it to be in from the edge 0.25. So I want to bring it in from this known point in 0.25. So I'm going to use the AccuDraw shortcut key in O for origin. So what I'm doing here is tentative snapping to that location, then typing O for origin, which places the compass at that location, but I'm not drawing my cylinder yet. I'm just going to nudge myself over, and I'm going to go over a quarter of a foot, and left click to accept that. And now I'm drawing my cylinder. So again, I'm just creating an origin point and nudging myself over to a new location. I didn't have to draw a construction line to locate this point. Now the, uh, the radius of this is going to be uh, 0.07. I'm going to left click to accept that. And then I'm going to give it a height. I'm going to come up. My compass already rotated into the Z direction so I can define the height of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder is going to be 0.75. So you can see here I've got the uh, two tracks for the bike rack and my first cylinder drawn. Now I want to uh, copy that cylinder from the uh, top rack over to the, the bottom one here. So I'm just going to use the uh, copy, but I'm going to create a selection first and then use the copy command and grab from the center of here to center here to make sure that they line up at the correct X, Y, Z, so everything's in line with each other. Now the next tool I want to show you is going to be the torus tool. And for this one I am going to draw a construction line to help illustrate what I need for data points on this one. So I'm just going to draw a magenta line that's uh, a little bit thicker here. And I'm going to go from the center of one cone to the center of the next cone. And then what I'm going to do is use those as uh, construction points to help me create this torus which is just going to be the arc that goes from a cylinder to cylinder for me. So I'm going to go to the Torus tool and again using the uh, tool settings window here I could fill in the values automatically but I'm going to use this uh, magenta construction line to help me define everything and I'm using AccuDraw to find my points. So the thing it's asking me for first is the start point which is going to be the center of the one uh, cylinder. And then it's asking me to define the center point. And this center point is going to be the center of the overall arc of the torus. And you can see here how it actually starts drawing 
the torus for me. But you'll notice that the rotation of it is in the wrong rotation. That's based on my compass of my AccuDraw. So what I need to do is get this to a side rotation, which then puts it upright in the correct rotation. So as I move my cursor back and forth, then I can snap into the other side of the cylinder and left click to accept that. And now I've got the other, the arc of my torus drawn. Well, I've got to change my colors back here, so I'm just going to set this back to by level so it matches the rest of the uh, bike rack. Now what I'm going to do is uh, clean up that or delete that uh, construction line, get myself to a, uh, well, let's just stay in this rotation, and I'm going to unite this. And from the uh, solids modeling toolbar here, there's the modify solids as a toolbox. I'm going to open up that dialog box. And what I want to do here is unite the cylinder to the torus to the other cylinder. So I'm going to use Unite Solids, and it's asking me to select the first solid, the next solid, and then hold down the control key to select the third solid. And then once I'm done selecting all those solids, I can left click to accept the overall solution. So now what I have is a smart solid that I can then copy to complete the rest of the uh, bike rack. So in order to do that, I'm just going to get myself to a top rotation and create a selection set of that uh, torus and then I'm going to copy it and I'm just going to use AccuDraw to do this. I'm going to copy it over in the top rotation one foot and then just make a couple copies of it. Until I'm done. Now if I go back to a isometric view you can see I've got the uh, bike rack drawn here stuff around so we can see that a little bit better. So now I've got the uh, bike, dr bike rack drawn here in isometric rotation. And the other thing I may want to do is take these bike racks and then weld them or unite them to the uh, rails on either side. So what I'm going to do is maybe uh, zoom in here and unite the um, bike rack verticals to each rail. And again, if I hold down the control key, I can select both rails and then unite them. So now what I've got is the vertical here connected or welded to the actual uh, tracks. So then what I can do is start cleaning these edges up. And I won't do all of them right now. I just want to show you the rest of the tools here. So what I want to do maybe is uh, fill up the edges. So where the uh, rack actually meets the vertical for the uh, cylinder, I might want to do a fillet edges. So I want to set that to point, uh, 0.05 and select that bottom ring and left click to accept it. And then it's going to fillet that edge for me. And then maybe on the racks, I'm going to chamfer those edges and maybe set that to 0.5 as well. And then that'll actually cut that back a little bit to give it a better look. Do the same thing on this edge, chamfer that one, fillet this one. And then I'll just change my uh, display style to illustration with shadows and then increase the lighting again. So you can see what that might look like. Or maybe uh, I'll switch it to smooth with shadows. There you go. That's a little bit better. So now you can see the uh, edges look a little bit cleaner and it looks a little more realistic. So. What we did in this example here is we started with the uh, slab solid to create the rack, the tracks on either side, and then we created the vertical cylinders, and then we created that construction line to help us draw the torus solid. But once we got the torus solid, that created the arc across the top. Then we united the uh, vertical cylinder torus to the two tracks, and then we uh, created filleted edges and chamfered edges to help clean that up. So that concludes our tip with working with uh, primitive solids. And for more tips and tricks, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.